I'm sorry, did you not notice that we're at sub-level 3 and we're only 33% through this cave? <laughs> they are throwing everything at us! An Empress Bullblax? This is my childhood right here. Pikmin 2 is my second favorite game of all time. And so this, this is peak Pikmin right here. We throw one Pikmin on it. It will bring that Pikmin to us. No boss music? It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna veer to the right whenever it... Come on. It's gonna veer to the right whenever it throws Pikmin off. It's gonna roll to the right first. And right before, you can kind of get a sense for its pattern. I'm going into, like, walkthrough mode. You can get a sense for its pattern and whistle them right before right before it shakes them. Uh, if it is allowed to shake them, it will probably shake them into its path, and then you're gambling on which way it's going to roll, which I'm pretty sure it always rolls right first, and then it rolls left, and then it will roll right again. You want to be careful throwing Pikmin, Oh, no, it looks like it detects which side they're on. You want to be careful throwing Pikmin at it after it starts to uh, to recoil the first time. Because if you do, you're going to be throwing them around the second section of it. So you really want to get them as many as you can before it starts doing this or throw them after. But if you throw them after, you're not going to have a big window to throw them back on. It's a very simple enemy, but one that I've seen a lot of people make a lot of mistakes on. Now, if everything goes horribly awry, at least in Pikmin 2, and it looks like in this game as well, uh, they give you a brief, a brief little area, which I'll show... Cool. I'll show right here. Uh, you could walk right here and be partially safe. They kind of give you that leeway so you don't lose everybody. Uh, but you don't have a C-stick in this game, so it's not going to go well. Like, you could do this and then turn your back to it, and they're going to kind of do it, but it's not going to be too... Too great. Also, uh, this is the first game that their entire body is intact. In previous games, they explode, and it's only their first segment with their face on it. We have some more buttons, and a new captain. Let's see that ID info. Oh, you know who this is? A doctor who lives for discovering and, un and solving unusual cases. He s jumps at every chance to test his experimental medicines. Oh, I'm gonna have a field day with this character, man. Oh, no. Alright, we found another rescue officer. Yanni is a talented doctor with a wealth of knowledge. With his skills, he can treat any injuries or illnesses that come our way. Including space cancer, which is way worse than regular cancer. That's it. <laughs> that means our pilot is the only one of us still missing. Please continue your search, Jeff. What if we're the pilot? What if that's us? What if we're the captain as well? You rescued our Dr. Yanni. Let's ask him to examine a leafling when he wakes up. Our pilot, Bernard, might be one after all. That's true. We have like f three or four of them now. We got some poker chips. As if we gambled our way through this. No, that was pure skill. Okay, could you guys go a little bit faster? Could you guys be a little bit more skilled? Just, 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 just... A little bit more skilled, please. Thank you. Okay, you guys get that, that in, and... This is not the final floor, but we just fought a boss. And we already know there are bull bears in here. This cave is going to get a lot scarier, and we have two-thirds of it remaining. And by two-thirds, I mean half. Oh, I totally forgot that you exist, because you're only in Pikmin 3 a couple times, and you're very easy. No need to rush your explorations. You can return to the surface anytime. Yep. Yeah. okay. All right, Colin. You quitter. Sheesh. A bunch of whip tongues, some rocks. Yeah, I kind of want to go this way for literally no reason. I have no... I think it's just because I saw this, like, clipboard that I want to investigate. Got our Pikmin. Um, let's not deal with that yet. Whip tongue bulborbs. 
They're an enemy from Pikmin 3, and um, I never thought they were terribly difficult. But I think that's more due to Pikmin 3's inherent design. Okay, I say that, I lost two Pikmin. Uh, <laughs> that's more to Pikmin 3's inherent design than anything. Uh, Pikmin 3 has this, this flaw, um, where, I've talked about this many times before, but one of the, the great, the things that makes the Pikmin franchise great is that it has this menagerie uh, enemy design, where, um, uh, let's get Pikmin on that as well, even though I'm not gonna be able to do that yet. Um, it has this great menagerie design. Ooh. This is really awkward. Um. Ochi. How do I... I wish there was a... Can I dismiss Ochi? Command. Ochi, you're gonna go here. Because you're getting ready to... Save these guys. I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to play out, but we're gonna try it. Okay, switch and switch. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Why are they having trouble? That's not what I meant to do. But I guess it works. I don't even know how I did that. I feel like I commanded him to do that. Uh, Pikmin 3 has this menagerie Pikmin design, where, or P Pikmin general, um, where it's easy to fight one enemy head-on, because they have a very simple strategy, but it, that's what the designers count on. What makes Pikmin great is when they are mixing and matching enemies, so you constantly have to, you constantly have to re-evaluate the strategy you should be using. That's where it shines. But Pikmin 3 really didn't have that tenet of design, and so, so many, or almost every enemy was faced completely in a vacuum. Wallywogs, you only fight Wallywogs. Um, Whiptongue Bulbworms, you're only fighting Whiptongues. And so it led to a lot of enemies just having to be given more health. And, or, uh, uh that's not entirely fair, a fair critique, but, um. Oh, that's weird. Die, die, die. Miss him. Okay. Come on, lock on. The lock on is a little bit weird in this game. There we go. Give him some quick impact. In this game, I had to very carefully. I, I know how to fight these dwarf bulbor or these whatever these are, the larva. I, I know how to fight them, and so I know that I can. I need to take care of them first because if I let them loose, then I don't have a numbers advantage. And Pikmin three, for the most part, didn't really have that trade. At least not to the extent of other games. I mean, in Pikmin 2, you'd have to be worrying about bombs being thrown at you while you're dealing with with um with volatile dweevils while also fighting a bull bear while bombs were dropping at you from the sky as well. It was not a fair experience. And at the very least, this game seems to be aware of like the merits of that approach. Okay, they they'll take that back and then. We'll go deeper. I think we're two-thirds of the way through the dungeon now. Uh, I think it's eight floors. And our, we're also running the gauntlet on every single member of the of the Grub Dog family. Case in point, Bull Bears. A scary enemy no matter what game it's from. I think one of my, my two... Actually, I can't pick a favorite appearance of these guys. In Pikmin 3, they did this awesome thing where they gave them eye shine, and so they were terrifying. And then in Pikmin, in Pikmin 2, or in Pikmin 1, they were just giant and terrifying. Like they were, like, almost twice the size of this they appear here. I'm probably gonna spicy spray for these guys, to be honest. Um, I don't want to deal with that yet. I also have to deal with... This is gonna be, this is gonna be hard. Go, go, go. Kill them. Really? You didn't notice that? Are you stupid? Um. Wow. Bull bears. 
really all right nothing to fear here wallywogs are are weak bull bears are weak in in pikmin uh in pikmin 2 she would have smelled she would have smelled me coming a mile away in fact she probably would have seen me or smelled me from the moment i i dropped down to the dungeon with where she was that was that was kind of nuts i'm i'm genuinely i'm genuinely shocked Weakest appearance, maybe? Because Pikmin 1, they were giant. Pikmin 2, once you killed them... Oh, hi. Boom. And boom. And boom. That it? Yep, that's it. Uh, they, they weren't that bad. Uh, they were actually almost secret enemies. They weren't really supposed... How are you alive? Oh... You can't be insta-killed, that's neat. They're almost secret enemies because they wouldn't appear... Go. Thank you. They wouldn't appear except in the, um... The perplexing pool past, I think, like, day 20 or 30. And at that point, it's like... You're, you're done with the game. It was actually, probably, I think, Pikmin 2's biggest flaw was that the... The best area in the game, in my opinion, didn't have two of the it's what made it special until most players would be done with the game uh but once you killed the the bull bears which the, she would be wandering around with her cubs uh then she would actually come back to life after a while that her health bar would start filling back up and if you didn't bring her back to base quick she was going she would get back right up at full health there were two enemies like that in in pikmin 2 and it honestly i think it's a really cool mechanic and, oh, whoa, 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 can't be missing that. Free rock Pikmin? Hello? Boom. Sweet. I'm fine with that. The final floor. Ha! <laughs> Did you see that rock Pikmin? He went flying! Ha! <laughs> He hit the dog and then just went flying to the left at like Mach 10. Oh, there are two of them? I... Ugh, and I can't get through? Ha! Huh. Wow. Alright, this is a uh, actual copy-paste floor from Pikmin 2. It's exactly the same. In terms of layout, uh, the, the gate in Pikmin 2, uh, was, was destructible. But, that triggered you? I am going to lose Pikmin here, except for the fact they're fast now. Eat it. Eat it. Yes! It still works. Swarm them. I don't know if swarming is gonna work. Yes, they're smart enough. And one's dead. They're just gone. Okay. Do we try to take this one without bomb rocks, or do we try to redeem ourselves? We redeem ourselves. I lost. I lost a Pikmin today. Uh, that didn't work. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Let's let's be smart about this. Don't don't lock on. Don't lock on. Don't lock on. Or just turn. Ugh! That was really close. Okay, well, none of those worked. Gotta do this the proper way now. Oh, we can still do that! And it deflowered my Pikmin! That's a... Not a new attack, but it's good to see it back, and that's terrifying. Also, this one might start jumping. If they're pulling out those attacks, it might start to jump. Dog, I actually didn't want you to do that. Dog. Uh, I hope you appreciate me, dog. I... Whistle him. There, I have so many flowers now. I hope you appreciate me, dog. I lost a Pikmin for your sake. <sighs> In a moment, without me ha even having to think... 
I chose my dog's life over that of a Pikmin. And you know what? Good job, buddy. Good job. Good dog. Alright. In fact, you probably deserve a break. Let's get these back. Who is this? Is this our third captain of the episode? Okay, let's see that ID badge. What's his BMI? I can't see that from here. Could you tell me how they're built? Maybe how fit they might be? A stylist with clients all over the universe. Just say the word and he'll unleash his fashionable skills at lightning speed. Ooh, we might be able to redesign Jeff. Come on. What is a stylist doing here of all places? Hmm. He probably won't be missed if you think about it. In fact, maybe you guys didn't find him. Maybe. It sure is a shame we didn't find any captains or castaways in this cave, right, guys? Dang it. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome! That's- I could never escape them! That makes me so happy! Alright, let's- let's do... Let's, um, let's get on my soapbox. I've, I've had to explain this so many times. So, what's one more? Uh, these... That is the head of a Dogu, which is a... This is from memory, mind you. I have nothing pulled up. This is all from memory, and I'm... Oh, man. I can never escape these guys. Uh, Dogu are basically ceremonial statues thought to con uh, contain, I believe, evil and sealing it away. Um, I believe they're also like funeral statues. And they contain bad omens, if I recall. Uh, and in Pikmin 2, it was different. Uh, it was, I'm gonna show it on screen. Oh, that's a, what, what is that? Oh, it's just a, it's a lock on point. In Pikmin 2, it was a different treasure, but it was also something very similar in terms of ritualistic use. Which, uh, and that one was def- was 100% um, used in burial rites. And so, this area being very ornamental, having these- these fire spouts in, in symmetry on either side of it, led me to believe that this might actually be some sort of, uh, grave. Or- or tomb. Or burial- burial ritual shrine. And- <laughs> Dogu are, have a hold a special place in my heart because I've had to explain what these things are in, oh my word, so many Let's Plays. Uh, Skyward Sword no Kami are the first ones that come to mind. Pikmin 2, obviously, because I just had to talk about it here. Um, now Pikmin 4. So many different games I've had to explain what these are to the point where I really just can't escape them. Um, and I've... They're very- they're popular within Japanese culture, but me, myself, I find myself running into them quite a bit. It's a weird, um, it's just a weird coincidence. There are a couple things in my life that I just can't stop running into. Ravens are another one. Um, last year- I uh, know it was two years ago. I- I got the opportunity to hold a wild raven, uh, as it had gotten injured and, uh, had broken its wing, and so I- I took it, I picked it up, and brought it to a vet. Uh, back in the Skyward Sword and Okami LPs, and Earthbound, I guess, uh, I had a German Shepherd by the name of Knight. And, we're gonna do... And Knight, uh, was honestly my best friend, but I got him before I moved to the play the area I currently live in now and uh, when we got his papers we named him huh, I forgot that this was double coincidental we named him good night paladin of Ravenwood this was long before the let's play and uh, I always had an affinity for the name paladin based off of strangely enough 
Man, I'm, I'm talking about a lot of stuff this episode. Strangely enough, uh, an old animated, like, Christian series by the name uh, of Angel Wars, where there was a character named Paladin that I, I really thought was, was cool. And me and my friends, obviously having a very bright imagination, um, kind of considered ourselves the guardians of our neighborhood as the woods next to us were torn down and crime started moving in started moving in and so um let's let's do this let's see if we can't possibly get into this cave and then also clear this out um we can kind of considered ourselves the guardians of the neighborhood. Let's see if I can't possibly kill this guy. Um, Ochi. Command. Uh, we we actually literally broke up a drug ring once by uh, reporting some suspicious activity we had seen, monitoring license plates of everyone who went in and out of our neighborhood. Um, we found the police chief's car that had been that had been dumped in the area. We did actually a lot of stuff, and it was it was kind of cool. Hi, buddy. Die. I don't have my spicy spray. There. And die. Move base. Boom. Can I go into the cave? Uh... That's not what I want. Time is frozen. Where? Oh, I'd have to build. Oh. Oh. Well, I definitely couldn't have done that anyway. Okay, so uh, no no harm done. No harm, no foul. Uh, Ochi, you will be... Wait, why do we, why do we have... Why do we have... Oh, no. Oh, no. How did they end up there? Okay, um... That's not good. Okay, so I need to take a right and then go straight. Take a right. And then I'm going to command Ochi to see if he can get there, too, because that way... Oh, boy. Yeah, boy, yeah, there are no straight Pikmin about. Sure. Sure, there aren't. Uh, where am I going? Also, I didn't realize those Pikmin were in the ground. They're... Oh, they're trying to get to the base. And I moved the base. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. Actually, no, 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 no. No! Oh, my word. Move base. They're gonna run towards me. And then I run towards them. Right? Yes. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop doing what you're doing. Yes. Okay. Now go ahead, and one of you do what you're doing. Whew. That was an adventure. <sighs> Pikmin is honestly a little bit more enjoyable when I'm not trying as best as I possibly can to not lose a single Pikmin. I've never done a no-death run before. It was just something I noticed that I had been doing well on, so I was like, oh, let's, let's see how far I can go. But now that I ha I've lost the Pikmin, it, it's a lot more enjoyable. Now, the game is kind of the full experience. But yeah, what I was saying is ravens are kind of another thing that I, I've had this affinity towards. From naming my dog after ravens long before I moved to a place that has ravens nonstop to being able to hold a raven. I've always had this weird affinity. Dogu, kind of the same way. It's stuff you keep bumping into. And it's probably stuff you're interested in, and so you just notice it more. But over time, you can I can understand why people thought they had spirit animals, right? They're just things you keep running into that you can't explain. If we're gonna restore the SS cafeteria's radar and expand our search area, we need you to go out and gather more sparklium. 
Energy replenishment complete. Now let's switch on the radar. I wonder what the next area is going to be. It's working. Yes, once again, we've detected more SOS signals in an unexplored area. I'm glad to hear our search radius has increased. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get out there and find our missing rescue officers and Captain Ulamar. Sweet. Lots of pup drive. Lots of... Oh, boy! Schnoz is gonna have a field day tomorrow. Also, I can't wait to read about the Dogu. Yeah. Yeah, we lost four Pikmin. But we sprouted... We sprouted about 50. We sprouted... Or 64, actually. We sprouted 64. We got a ton of Sparklium. A lot more raw material. We're going to come out of today stronger than any other day so far. We have a new kind of Pikmin. Rock Pikmin. No onion yet, but we have 25 of them. And that's that goes a long way. We went from 17 to 57%. I think that more than makes up for yesterday and the four Pikmin lost. Tani. Yanni's back, Captain. Seems like we're making progress. Well done, Jeff. So where is he then? We need to discuss the leafling situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the forced sleep mode was lifted, he... kind of went right back to sleep. I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he was pretty sleep deprived. Ooh! Seriously? He was out walking around at night? Here? It's ridiculous dangerous. I suppose I should be grateful that he is still alive. Huh? That's strange. I put a bottle right here. Where did it... Dingo. You didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right here, did you? Did you? That was... A beast's blood. That's what it was. That's... Um, that's it. Hey, Colin. Don't shout at me like that, Colin. But, yeah, I was thirsty and it was right there, so I gave it a try. Who cares, Colin? Who cares? Well, that was, um, medicine that Yanni was going to be using in his experiments. And you never thought to mention that till now, Colin? Uh, why do I suddenly feel a sudden urge for flesh? Colin... You know I'm vegetarian. Oh, wow. Is that a normal side effect, Colin? Well, are you alright? Maybe you should go lie down too, Dingo. Um, Captain, when he lays down and falls asleep, help me tie him up. Uh, no, no reason, it's, he tosses and turns at night, and I... I don't want him to get up and... Uh, sleepwalk. That, that would be bad. I have no reason to think he would, just... You know. Better to be safe. I suggest we meet we put this meeting on hold for the time being. Tomorrow in Pikmin 4, we find out maybe a way to cure the leaflings. We upgrade everything we have. We'll have a new area to explore. Although I might go back to this area. I did see a Dandori battle, but there's a lot ahead of us. We have a new kind of Pikmin. Four Pikmin deaths completely changed the game. And next time in Pikmin 4, you're going to see me and my Dandori at absolute 100% power. See you guys in the morning.